Hi everyone, I'm Miss Julia and welcome to Junior Jewelers. My sister, Miss Carrie, is going to help me with this online class. She's going to help moderate our classroom. But today I'm going to go through all of the exciting things that come in your kit. So I have my kit right here. Let's go through all of the supplies that you'll be receiving. If there's anything missing from your kit, please ask your grown-up to help and email me. You should have my email address or you can post in the classroom. So the first thing I'm pulling out of my box is two toilet paper tube rolls. I'm going to use these to show you how to make some bracelet cuffs later. Next, you should have a little jewelry box. The jewelry box opens on the top and inside are your colored pencils and several things of shrinky dink plastic. Some of them I have gone ahead and put a hole in already for you. You might have white or the frosted ones. Either way, they'll work the same. Then on the bottom of your box, you have a little drawer. Inside your drawer, you should have two things of lacing, one of a plastic lacing and one that's more of a braided rope type, and then two things of coated wire. So that's everything that comes in your little jewelry box, and we'll decorate those later too. You should also have two packages of white Model Magic clay. This is air dry clay that we'll use to make some of our own beads and pendants. The next thing you should have is an assortment of pipe cleaners. These work really well for making bracelets and necklaces. Your bag should also have one thing of watercolors that comes with a paintbrush. But you should also have a second paintbrush. Your second paintbrush has bristles on the top here that are a little bit softer than the ones that come in with your kit. The next thing you should have is one pair of scissors. One small plastic cup. We'll use this for water when we're using our watercolors. You should have one bag of beads. There's a lot of different kinds in there. I'm really excited to see what I can make and see everything that you all make with your assorted beads too. And the last thing that you should have is a bag with a bunch of different little things in here. So the things inside of your little bag that are important for you to have are one little pencil sharpener. That's for your colored pencils. You should also have an assortment of stickers. Some are these puffy foam stickers and some are regular stickers. You should also have an assortment of different buttons. We're going to use those to make button rings. You should have a few self-sticking pin backs. So you can see they have a little bit of foam here and some sticky stuff. And then you should also have two different type of keychain rings. So some circle ones and some of these ones that are more like a little latch. So that's everything that should be in your little bag. You've got lots of different stickers and lots of different buttons in here, but you should make sure that you have the pencil sharpener, the self-sticking pin backs, and the key rings. Those are going to be very important. You'll also want to hold on to your plastic bag that everything came in. This is a really good surface when we're working with our model magic to help protect your table so the model magic doesn't get stuck anywhere. Well, I hope you enjoy all of the fun crafts that we have planned for you. And if you make one of the crafts and you'd like to share it with everybody, you can ask your grown up to help you take a picture of your finished project and 
to post it in the classroom. Miss Carrie and I would really love to see your projects. You can take a picture of just your project or if you'd like to hold your project and take a picture with you in it, that's okay too. But make sure to ask your grown up before you post anything online. And if you have any questions about any of the supplies, please feel free to email me or post in the classroom. Miss Carrie and I will be monitoring the classroom and reply to everything that you ask. I hope you have a good day and happy crafting. Bye.